Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick episode. I wanted to show you guys that I am finished with my little villager breeder. I'm still gonna make more modifications and whatnot to it. But here, let's quickly hop out here. So my base is down there. You kind of come up the hill. There's a bunch of uh, these cherry blossom trees or whatever that I planted. I love the look of them. They are just an amazing addition to the game. Freaking beautiful. The petals just gently gliding back to the ground. I'm loving it. Anyways, actually I should have shown you more of the building. That's what we went with. It's a giant copper building. It is uh, some um, some parts of it are starting to oxidize. I used to have uh, copper doors on here, but for some reason the freaking villagers were too stupid to know how to, to use them, so I just removed them. And then golems kept spawning in here, and so I just knocked out one more so that they could come in and out as they pleased. Here's Mr. Kitty Cat, one of them. Enderman, you're like stupid. Like it's 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 raining. Woody, why aren't you in bed, dude? Huh? Huh? Oh, he's a new one. Cause I uh, murdered the other one because you're giving me crappy trades. <laughs> but yeah, this is coming along. We have a little uh, farm for one of our villagers right here, so we can uh, keep uh, feeding them. Um, I am trying to freaking get a librarian villager to give me freaking f the fortune enchantment. I have killed probably a hundred villagers because they won't give me this thing. I have moved around the lecterns and whatever to try and get it and I still have yet to get this fortune enchantment. It has been the biggest pain in the butt ever. No, you're mending. Anyways. Keeping, keep spawning in these freaking green coat fartlings. Like, nobody likes you. Go away. But anyways. Everything's a work in progress. Oxidizing blocks kind of look weird. Get out of here. But, um, uh, yeah. I wanted to show you uh, how everything has been coming along. I also fixed my pumpkin and watermelon farm. So that has been uh, pumping it out. Uh, if you saw my previous episode, you'll realize that uh, I put uh, these the polished stone, smooth stone or whatever, in between each of these because I didn't realize that uh, they wouldn't grow unless it was another farm block. So that's a bit annoying, but I fixed it. This one is just a water row, so that one's why that one's like that way. Same with this one. So uh, don't worry about this. It's a, uh, it's working. I also, oh my gosh, I set up my beehives. I have one right here, and I have two. You probably saw them uh, up by where that little farm plot is for the farmer. Our sheep and cows are coming along nicely. I should probably murder a bunch of them. Um, and then this is basically our tree farm. Um, I have come to the realization that the trees grow much faster if you uh, have a space between them. Because, you know, sometimes people would just make a massive line, double line of uh, trees, and then you get, you get like these massive chunker, like mega trees that are just like these, but like an entire row. I don't know if they patch that or whatnot. I have yet to be able to get one of those. So uh, I just space them out. This one I did not, but as you can see, I'm spacing them out, grouping them in uh, sets of four, 
And then I just harvest them with my axe and, uh, you know, turn them into sticks and trade them to villagers for emeralds because, uh, they must have an affinity for sticks because they're giving away precious gems for them. <laughs> um, we also set up this little, uh, dripstone farm. Uh, this is just to grow more dripstone. Just yoink. And then I'll just poop it in here. Into this chest. Into our, uh, sugar, small little sugar cane farm. That's up and going. Our little mini cactus farm. Not much of anything. I should just set up the one where it's like got like fence posts on it, I believe. And then this beastie. This is our mud farm. Um, I might have to make some modifications or I might turn this into a little outbuilding and try and... Whoa, my stomach's like growling like crazy. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but man, noisy little bugger. Um... But anyways, I might make another level and try and uh, get clay. That would be really nice because apparently uh, if you just leave mud out to basically dry, it turns into clay. I haven't had such luck leaving it here to dry. It always just stays as mud, even if you wait like an hour real time. So uh, I'm going to have to do more research into that. Um, also, over here, we have our sweet berry farm. Yoink. Give me all the berries. I remember there, there used to be something that you could do with the berries, and I can't remember what. Could she, like, trade them to someone? Was it farmers? If you know, let me know in the comments down below. No. Sets a four, you bum. Or singlets. I guess that'll work too. But, yeah, everything's coming along nice. Um, future plans, I want to... Uh, who do you think you are, man? Anyways. I want to take out the walls of this and put in glass and have it connect to a lower section of my base so I can go down a level and then be able to, uh, you know, creep on the sea turtles and the fishies. Because I think that would be sweet. So that is something in the future that I will be doing. I should probably breed these guys again. Then I can get more tur turtle scoots. I also need to harvest that. Let's quickly see if this bum has anything good. Most of the time they don't. Hmm. Pumpkin seeds, bubble coral, lily of the valley, rooted dirt. I remember there being something for that. You can get, like, roots or something? What is rooted dirt for? Let me know, because I don't remember. What the? I thought you could, like, it would, like, sprout little roots and you could harvest them for making some weird thing. I think it was mostly just decoration, if I remember correctly, but... Yep, families coming along. Skittles, uh, we need to find you a buddy. I have another cat tanned over there. Maybe I'll just bring it over. Does that sound good? You guys I could have little babies. What? Where'd my sea pickle go? Both my sea pickles are gone. Hmm. Anyways, catch you guys on the next one. And have a good one. Bye now.